Good morning, friends, and welcome to the pre-market view. There were sharp cuts uh, in the U.S. markets, and the markets were down almost about one to about two percent. Nasdaq, in particular, was down almost about two percent. Uh, as we had positive data coming out uh, on the GDP front, uh, Q3 GDP came in at about 2.8 percent, much better than the Q2 number. And uh, coupled with that, we have seen the drop in the jobless claims to almost about 9,000. So there is a feeling that uh, the tapering could uh, start as early as January, as against the earlier expectations that it could get delayed. Also, the quantum of tapering could be much more. Uh, than what the market was walking with earlier. So that has led to some kind of a sell-off in the U.S. markets. Uh, interestingly, Twitter uh, got uh, listed and actually the opening that it got was uh, very positive with almost about 73% gains uh, compared to the issue price and it was around 45 odd dollars. Uh, also, the non-farm payroll data uh, that is going to be out, it remains to be seen how it uh, uh, pans out because that is going to decide the future course of tapering in US which would have implications for the currencies globally as well as for the equity markets. 10-year uh, bond yields continue to remain around about 2.6% and European markets uh, were actually mixed. Germany was up about 0.44% but the rest of the European markets, particularly the smaller markets were down as much as about 2%. The ECB has cut uh, both the reference rates as well as the liquidity adjustment factor by about 0.25% as the inflation there continues to remain at a very low level. And uh, when we look at the Asian markets, uh, there are red marks across the markets uh, for the third or fourth consecutive day. We are seeing this negative tick. So Nikkei is down almost about 0.84%. Hang Seng is down 0.46%. And even Chinese markets are down almost about 0.5%. As DX Nifty is suggesting that we are going to open up down about 32 points. Uh, yesterday we had a major uh, fall in the markets. Though uh, in the first uh, about one, one and a half hour of session, we had an uptick, but uh, it could not sustain. And the major uh, a carnage was seen across the banking names uh, like particularly Bank of Baroda and OBC which were down about 5 to 6 percent and the breadth of the market was clearly uh, missing and we had seen the profit booking across uh, these sectors. The only exception where we could see some kind of a strength was the IT pack where we had seen good, uh, we had seen good amount of strength in stocks like Infosys, Wipro, TCS, etc. But the rest of the uh, rest of the market was quite weak uh, and the volumes were on a higher side. Talking about the flows, friends, FI is net buyers in the cash market to the tune of about 479 crore and uh, the uh, F domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of about 785 crore. No major action was seen in the index futures as such. Uh, on that note, let me invite Sadhana to take us through important FNO cues and ideas that we could have from the FNO side. Good morning friends, let's have a view on derivatives. From past couple of trading sessions, we have seen that profits have taken away by market participants either on short side or long side. In yesterday trade also, we have seen that uh, long positions were squared up by market participants uh, at day's high which led to whitewash in the market. As we see around 6.42 lakh shares were reduced in open interest and nifty futures premium decreased from 44 points to 40 odd levels. And interestingly, we have seen that FIS were net buyers of approximately 300 odd crores. And uh, uh, call option has added around uh, 24 lectures in open interest, whereas put option has added only 8 lectures in open interest due to which PCR has come down from 1.09 to 1.06, which is clearly visible in the options activity. As we see, uh, 6,200 and 6,300 call option has seen a good activity, whereas on lower side, uh, 6,100 and 6,000 put option has seen a highest number of shares in open interest. We have seen that unwinding activity has taken place in 6,200 and 6,300 put option, so we may see 6,200 might act as a good support on closing basis, but we may feel buying may continue to emerge in the market at lower levels. From intraday perspective, one can go short on ultratech cement with a stop loss of 1,064.65. Thank you. Here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, the companies that will be announcing numbers, Startup Motors, uh, we are looking at a net profit of almost about 2,776 crore primarily driven by the JLR because their domestic operations continue to suffer huge losses. Uh, Crompton Reeves, we are looking at a net profit of about 73.92 crore. Uh, PNB, we are looking at a net profit of 965 crore. It remains to be seen what kind of uh, improvement are we really going to see as far as their NPLs and slippage, uh, slippages are concerned because that is one particular factor which is driving the uh, banking stocks, particularly some of the banks which reported good set of numbers like BOI, we had seen a good uptick. So this is one that uh, remains to be seen. Sun TV, 
we are looking at a net profit of about 180 crore where the subscriber growth is going to be very good but it remains to be seen what kind of ad revenues are we really working with given the cap of about 12 minutes uh, of ad uh, on the uh, news channels and United Spirits uh, the consensus expectations are about 101 crore. MSCI has uh, made certain changes uh, which could have implications for the stocks. So the major gainers so where the addition has happened are Nestle, Tech, Mahindra and Yes Bank. So watch out for some positive action in all the three stocks uh, today and for the next few days. And also there has been certain deletions. So Bank of India, Canara Bank, Union Bank have been deleted from the global standard index of MSCI. And Vocar 2 has been deleted uh, in that particular index. And in the small cap additions, we've seen Allahabad Bank, AstraZeneca Pharma, Dish TV, Fortis Healthcare, Just Dial, Linde India, Natco Pharma, OBC, PI Industries, PBR, Unitech, and Vocart. So uh, these are the stocks where you could expect some positive action uh, in the next couple of days. Also, we have seen deletions in the small cap uh, as far as Aban, Blue Star, Clarion Chemicals, Eros Media, Ingersoll Ren, Ipka Labs, Novartis, OMBC, Rolta, and Syntex. Cabinet has approved uh, the uh, uh, divestment or share sale in Power Grid to the tune of almost about 4%. So this is a bit of a negative for Power Grid, which has been languishing of late, uh, is around about 96. So we think that the stock will remain a bit subdued. Wipro has managed to win a 900 crore order from the Indian Air Force, which is not too big given the size of the Wipro, but uh, definitely it's a bit of a positive there. And the government has sanctioned about 17,772 crore uh, cash subsidy uh, to the oil marketing companies like IOC, which have been selling the fuel below the cost. Uh, so uh, this is definitely a bit of a tricky area because uh, there are some differences uh, between the finance ministry and the oil ministry on the subsidy sharing, etc. So these counters could remain a bit subdued. Tech Mahindra came out with their numbers and numbers were definitely a little better than market expectations, particularly on the top line front. Uh, the growth of the dev uh, dollar revenue was almost about 4.7%. Uh, so in most of the parameters, Tech Mahindra numbers were um, much better than market expectations. And SpiceJet has reported a loss of almost about 500 crore, uh, 559 crore in the September quarter. So a bit of a negative for SpiceJet. Coming to the stock specific ideas, um, negative news for Sun Pharma is the Drug Controller General of India has asked them to halt its clinical trial uh, at its Mumbai laboratory. So a lot of filings and uh, related stuff is being done from its uh, Mumbai Research Center. So this could have negative implications for Sun Pharma. So one can short there with a stop loss of 618 and a target of about 588 to about 576. And Kotak Mahindra Bank, uh, some negative news as SNP has signed BBB minus long term rating to uh, them. So one can short Kotak Bank with a stop loss of 750 and a target of about 713 to about 698. That's it from all of us, friends. Have a great weekend and see you on Monday morning.